What did a real Crimean War veteran look like in full battle dress? William Noble, Alexander Davison, and John Harper, all 70 twinned Highlanders, pose proudly in 1854. They fought at the front lines and lived to tell about it. Why did this regiment earn eight Victoria Crosses? These are John Deary Thomas Onslow and Patrick Carte of the 95th Regiment Heroes of the Crimea captured here with full gear and grit. Can you guess which a late unit these men belong to? These are British Coldstream Guards photographed in the 1850s, one of the oldest and most decorated regiments in the army. Why did Victorian soldiers grow such magnificent beards? This unknown soldier, with medals on his chest, was likely photographed during the Crimean War in the 1850s a silent witness to a brutal conflict. He fought disease, not bullets, and lost. Hospital surgeon Frederick Newman served in the 97th Regiment. After surviving campaigns across the globe, he died of fever just a month after arriving in Crimea in 1854. How do you fight a war in freezing weather with no coats? Captain Pickshell and the 77th Regiment were hit hard when their winter supplies sank in a storm. This 1855 photo shows them in improvised cold weather gear. What saved more soldiers than bullets ever could? Sutherland and engineer Robert Rawlinson led a health revolution. Their sanitation reforms in Scudery halved the hospital death rate in just weeks in 1855. Why did the British fail even after breaking through? The Redan Sevastopol 1855. Though breached by British troops, confusion and Russian resistance led to a humiliating retreat under fire. Why do these soldiers look mismatched? The Threard Regiment of Foot 1855. During the Crimean War standard uniforms were rare men adapted their gear for survival. What did Highlander gear really look like up close? These men of the 40 twanned Royal Highlanders Gardner Mackenzie and Glenn show their full campaign kit from the Crimea. What became of the gunners after the war? Veterans of the Royal Artillery Post in 1856. A rare glimpse into the lives of survivors after the guns fell silent. What's the story behind these flamboyant uniforms? These are French Zoeves known for their fierce bravery and eye-catching outfits. Their style made them legends of the crime in front. Who saved more lives than any general? Florence Nightingale's reforms marked the birth of modern nursing. She realized that survival meant treating shock and trauma, not just wounds. How did these Highlanders celebrate survival? Pipper Moor and others of the 40 twanned Royal Highlanders raise a toast in Aldershot. War forged their bond peace, let them breathe. What's the sound of war and hope? Pipe Major John MacDonald of the 70 twanned Highlanders poses with his bagpipes. For many soldiers, this was the music of home. What did aim and endurance look like in 1855? Corporal James Tin of the 95th Regiment poses with rifle raised, ready to shoot in posture and in memory.
Why did Queen Victoria meet this man in person? Michael McNamara of the 5th Dragoon Guards returned from the Crimea to an audience with the Queen herself. What did an elite combat engineer carry? Color Sergeant Stanton of the Royal Sappers and Miners stands proud a pioneer in both war and innovation. How much could a Coldstream guard carry? Sergeant William Knapp shows full kit and calm discipline the embodiment of British order in chaotic war. What trophies did they bring back from Russia? Sergeants Christie and McKifford of the Royal Artillery stand with captured Russian banners taken in 1856 war souvenirs with a story. What does courage look like after the battlefield? Thomas Moncraving on crutches in hospital is still healing a reminder that wounds don't end with the war. Who were the fiercest irregulars on the Balkan front? These are Bashabuzuk's notorious Ottoman irregulars known for their brutality, feared and admired during the Crimean campaign. 